From NBC News, this is a split edition of Today. Women have been told over and over you need to be measured to find your right bra size, but it's not as easy as you think. Bra expert Janae Luciani took one willing participant to try on three different bra styles from three different brands with mixed sizing results. Every woman thinks she knows her proper bra size, but we're gonna find out today that you really have to try on every different brand and every different style to find out your true size. We have measured Kirsten at a 34C. We're gonna try a Playtex bra that actually does not come in that size. So we're gonna try this instead in a 36B, which is pretty much comparable to the 34C. Something about it, I don't, it doesn't feel right. To no. Me. Something about here. You're very right. It's not right. The main problem here is that it's too small in the cuff. Because as you mentioned, you feel like it's yeah. flattening you a little bit. Yeah. You're bulging sort of out of it. Yeah. Um, this is not where it should be. Right. Th these are digging in. So let's try instead the 36C. Yeah. That looks great. Use your size and your measurements as a guideline only. Okay. There are some key things that you want to look for to know if your bra is fitting properly. The first thing would be the bridge. This little piece in the center should be right flush against you there. As it is, your breast should be contained within the cup, so nothing should be billowing out the top or squeezing in any way. And of course, there should be no gaping. That means it's too big. And if you want to turn around to the back, this isn't riding up, it's not pulling down, it's perfectly flat where it should be. Also, you wanna be able to just fit two fingers snugly right here. So this is fitting you really nicely. On the scorecard, this one is a 36C. So we're gonna try another bra here at JCPenney. This one is the Barely There, We Have Your Back. So we're gonna start you off in the 34C. See how that works. It doesn't feel that good. It's it's like the cups have you digging in mm -hmm. on the sides. The underwire on the side of the bra should be flush against your rib cage. So right now it's cutting into your breast tissue. So this is a 34C, what we've technically measured you at. However, in this particular bra, it's just not fitting you exactly how I'd like to see it and how you would like to see it. So I'm actually going to bring you up to a 34D. Whoa. Much better. Yes. See, did you ever know yes. you were a C cup? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is fitting so much better. The cup is actually encapsulating your breasts within it. Yep. Um, and the underwire, which comes all the way around to the side, mm -hmm. is back here on your rib cage where it should be. Our scoreboard for the Barely There We Have Your Back Underwire Lift Bra is 34D. So we're here at our last stop, Victoria's Secret, and we're going to try a different sort of style bra here. So that's this one right here. Beautiful. We have it in the 34C, which we've measured you at. Right. And we're gonna give it a try. So the fit is not terrible on this bra. Um, I just think you're a little exposed in the cleavage area. So we're gonna go actually up a full size, a cup size and a band size, and try that, the 36D. Let me see that 36D. Wow, I'm a poet. I think you know it. <laughs> that looks much better, right? You feel more comfortable? It feels perfect as well. Right. So this is giving you so much more coverage here in the cup. The underwire is fitting you perfectly. You have some nice coverage on the sides here. Nothing is bulging. Everything in the back is nice and smooth. And the straps aren't digging in. So, for the Victoria's Secret bra, on our scorecard, this is a 36D. So what we really learned today is that size is really just a guideline, and you have to get into the stores and try everything on to find that perfect fit. 
Janae Luciani is the author of The Bra Book. Janae, good morning. Good morning. So we just saw finding the right bra size isn't easy, especially when you're looking at all these different brands, and there is so much to choose from now these days. Absolutely. I mean, bras now are running from 28A to 56N, so it's not just about ABCs anymore. You have tons of options, and bra makers like Bally, for example, came up with this smart sizing system, so they've simplified all of those sizes into small, medium, medium and large. Um, so actually this bra right here is the Comfort Revolution wire-free bra and it's really easy to find your size. They have a handy little chart and then you go with your, you know, traditional size as a guideline mm -hmm. and then fit into one of the small to extra like large bra. It's actually, I mean, it's it's got all the support that you need like a regular bra but, you know, very comfortable like you mentioned, like a sports bra. All right. Now, in terms of the sizing itself, you mentioned in the taped piece that it should just be a guideline, but how do you make sure your measurement is correct? It's actually very scientific. It's, it's not <laughs> This is the thing though, it's not an exact science when it comes to bras. So, you want to remember, you know, there's two measurements. You take the band size and the cup size, um, and then you actually subtract the difference so it's a little bit confusing for a lot of women but um, there's something right now going on called the war on plus four and in the old method you would measure around your you know underside of your breasts and that would be your band measurement and you would add four to five inches to that but nowadays with the advancements in fabrics and stretchier fabrics we're just adding one to two inches okay. so and then what happens, as we saw happen to uh, your model, when she goes in and she likes the bra, but she can't find it in the size you think you are, that you've been measured at, what do you do? Well, you can actually find comparable sizes. So, for example, um, you know, bras are based on volume. So if you're measured at a 34C, you can actually try a 36B instead. So go up in the band and down in the cup and get the same fit volume wise. So that's why when I hear women, like we were talking about this um, off camera, but when you hear women say, oh, well, she looks small for a big cup or big for a B cup, um, it's, it's not just based on the cup size. The band measurement works with the cup measurement to really get the proper volume of the bra. The volume, it's all <laughs> Very, about volume. I know, very confusing. Janae Luciano, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Thanks so much, Amy.